Perhaps you noticed a slight increase in your Onyx Advantage program. Maybe you haven't yet, but you soon will. Well, fear not, Onyx is delivering more services than ever, and the overall value proposition is actually landing in your favor. I'm Bob Miller, Color Services Manager here at IT Supplies, and today we're gonna to talk about the new Onyx Advantage program and what it means to you. So Onyx is really discussing the Advantage program in terms of process control, it giving you everything that you need to be in control of your shop. So uh, what's being offered in Onyx is something called Hub uh, with your Advantage program. This Hub solution actually gives you insights to your business that you can monitor uh, from anywhere within your organization. It's a web application that you can use to see what's going on in your shop, what your costing is, and general insights into the overall process. The other thing that we're gonna talk about in a little more detail is Color Check. Color Check is a process control tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you on my computer a little bit about what the color check solution is doing. So now we're gonna take a look on my screen. The first thing that you wanna do is ensure that you have color check enabled. So let's go to the media manager. This is where we're going to go ahead and set up our baseline and see about initiating color check. So when the media manager loads, we can go ahead and we can actually look at our workflows. We're going to ensure that for this printer that we have this workflow set. So um, under reports and tools, you can go ahead and customize your workflow. In this case, I've already done that. I've added a workflow called color check. And if I were to click edit here, just so you can see, you can see that I have the color check baseline selected and ICC profile selected. So that's really the key. So once color check is active and activated for the media type that you're going to be using, you're gonna see this color check tab up in the corner. Now, here we have actually a green check mark. That means that we've already printed our color check chart, which I'm gonna show you here on screen in a second. And that color check baseline, as you can see, shows all zeros um, for Delta E. That means that's our baseline and that's gonna be our new target. So once you go ahead and print that, um, you can actually go ahead and uh, start printing knowing that your baseline is good. Um, every, depending upon how you set up color check, you'll be able to set it up to, uh, to prompt you once a week, once a month, or on your own timeline as to when you want to process that again. So it could be every morning before you start printing, you want to print a color check target. In that case, this green check mark will disappear the next day and instead you will see that the color check is not valid for the day. So um, beyond that, uh, color check is super easy to use. Um, all you need to do is uh, go through and we can go ahead and uh, click on color check and in the morning, we can print our color check target. In this case, we have our Onyx weekly baseline. That is the target that we used. It is based on the print mode that you're using. So if you're using multiple print modes, you will have to change it for each one that you're going to be using. So then you can just go ahead and print the target. When the target is printed, you'll be able to right click on this and you'll be able to actually uh, see uh, 
a, that you can measure it in from the same screen. So if we were to go ahead and let's just go ahead and I'm going to pause this and we're just going to print that baseline target right now. And so once it's gone ahead and printed, you'll be able to go and you'll see the verification target uh, says waiting to measure. You'll go right here. You'll click measure swatch. That will bring up the device. In this case, I don't have the device connected, but you'll be able to input all of the values and uh, ultimately it will give you a report. The report looks like this. This is a pass fail report. So uh, if, as I mentioned, this was the original baseline. So right now our metrics and our Delta E's are zeros because it's the baseline. Once we measure another target in, these numbers will probably change slightly, but not drastically. And if they do, it signals that there's a problem with your printer. Uh, the nice thing is that this reporting is obviously available in the RIP software itself, but additionally, it's available through the hub uh, solution as well. So administrators can monitor these color checks and ensure that their printers are in line throughout their organizations. So, it's really a key component of the new Advantage program and something that you definitely want to take advantage of. Uh, there are some other things that I wanna mention here uh, beyond this. Uh, by being in the Advantage program, you're always entitled to the latest software. Version 24, as I record this, is right around the corner. I imagine it'll be out uh, by the time this airs, but there are some key benefits to version 24 that you should know about. There will be an automated multi-layer printing uh, tool. Uh, there will be a best fit and auto rotate tool. They'll also offer white behind cut marks, but my understanding is it won't just be white. If you do need another color like yellow or something, that will also be offered as well. There are also going to be three new color related items. So <clears throat> the biggest one and something that's new to IT supplies is the NYX color sensor and NYX support. So this NYX color sensor is value priced at approximately $479, but definitely reach out to us uh, if you're looking for one. Um, so this NYX color sensor is a wireless Bluetooth tool that you'll be able to use within Onyx to do these measurements so that you can uh, do your color checks and, uh, and uh, beyond. So you'll definitely want to take a look at that. If you don't have an i1 uh, or uh, one of the other devices, this new NYX will offer you a low cost way to get into color management. Some other new controls uh, that are being implemented uh, are to help people that are especially struggling with color management in dye sublimation. We'll go into that in another video later. And new IT8 charts for profiling. This is something that's been a request for a long time and those are actually going to be coming to version 24. Also, you'll be able to build in the uh, color check target into your profiling target, target for the baseline. So that's going to be huge as well. So there's a lot coming down the pike and if you're on the new Advantage program, it is going to be amazing and your value proposition is going to go through the roof. So I hope our viewers will take the time to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and please remember that when it comes to printing and color management, IT Supplies is here to help your business succeed.